Are we mad? What, what, was, what was going on in his head? Wigwe, who became MD of uh, Assets Bank. Eh? Immediately, uh, with the other young man left. Has now established a university. He has the temerity to be advertising that university on CNN. Wigwe University. That's personally established by him. Where is the money? Where is his factory? I says bank. Hey guys, so this one is quite deep. It's very, very deep and it's worth thinking of because like giving it a thought because it's coming from an elderly person. The man you are saying here, I don't know the best way to describe him, but I would like to say he is a political juggernaut. Ah, but the judge, a member of the People Democratic Party, that is someone who was appointed as the governor of Ondo State in 1988. So this man you are seeing here, he's not just old, but he understands the system. So there are some certain people when they are talking to you about some certain things, you just pay attention. You don't, you don't have to talk much. You just pay attention and listen to him. This man is, he is an old person. When it comes to politics, when it comes to the system in general, in the Nigerian system, he understands this. And this is the kind of person when they're talking to you about politics, about what is happening in this country, you should pay attention. He's alleging, I don't know if he's alleging or he's informing us because the judge is telling the world, is telling Nigerians that Herbert Wigwe, the late Herbert Wigwe who just died, the well very known Elumelu and uh, MFI, that, that these people are the people who are enjoying nigeria these people are enjoying from the corrupt system how can an md who the heck is a mefele uh, a what did he do where is the factory he was a bank man a floor bank man somehow got license at the same time we are the other. All of them, stupendously wealthy now. Wigwe, who became MD of uh, Assets Bank. Mm -hmm. eh? Immediately, uh, with the other young man left. Has now established a university. He has the temerity to be advertising that university on CNN. Wigwe University. That's... Personally established by him. Where is the money? Where is his factory? I says bank. What is the practice? They release dollars to them on monthly basis. They use the dollars. He's telling us that Tony Elumelu, Herbert Wigwe, the late Herbert Wigwe, and MFLA and more, as he said that these are the people who are enjoying from the corrupt system. This, when they say the system is corrupt, these are the people who are actually in charge. They are bankers and they know how to manipulate finance. Business. They use the dollars. If it's at one to 100, they will get it the, through the mala to say one to 200. You see that profit, what do they do with it? Who are the commercial people that really need it and get it? Most people get back to the to the mala, to buy. No, you hardly will get from the bank, unless you are. Is that commercial activity? So what they had done to this nation, they must all be invited for discussion, because the rottenness started from that. And it's been going on for years. Mm. But it has exploded now on our faces. Because, so according to Bode George, the dollars which is being allocated to every bank monthly, okay, when these MDs receive the dollars, instead of them to give it to needed Nigerians who need that dollar to get the normal rate at the bank, 
what they do is that somehow, somehow, money pass hand and it's being manipulated and then the money gets to Abuki. Abuki is those people that sells at a higher rate. You call them black market and all that. So, you know, the money gets to those people and those people sell in a very higher rate to innocent Nigerians. And somehow, the dollar still goes back to these MDs. You know, he's alleging that this is how they make their money, that every dollar that is coming in into the bank monthly, these people have a particular shares they get from that dollar. But with that being said, I begin to think because you see all these politicians, these people cannot actually manipulate money. They cannot actually um, like hide money, take money without the help of those working at the bank without the help of bankers because they cannot actually remove any money from the bank if those people working there do not permit them so so does that mean bankers also add to the corrupt system of this nation and what mfla did have you ever seen any central bank of any country giving personal loan to individuals are we mad? What, what, was, what was going on in his head? Commercial bank? You turn the central bank to a commercial bank. Central bank that should be irresponsible for your, irresponsible for your fiscal and monetary policies. They forgot completely. And then he had the, the temerity to say, ah, I wanted to contest as... Uh, president because he has stolen so much money so what exactly is papa telling us papa have like he just this is you know what he is a 78 years old man and he understands the system he knows the in and out and so he won't listening to but how true is the information like how true is it because some people i see some people saying oh when he didn't die nobody accused him of stealing now after his death they accuse him of stealing even on my youtube channel i see some people commenting after stealing money he went and died after stealing money after stealing, i was like is there any record of him being a criminal or something like because one thing i begin to think of you see all this efcc that is always after young boys small small children like young young boys that just uh, made it it's not even that they made it that real big efcc is always after them calling them yahoos doing this doing that always going to their house to harass to harass them why don't the efcc also investigate all these wealthy people wealthy politicians i think efc they should be, they should be more focused on investigating all these wealthy politicians because where are politicians making their money apart from the salary they are being paid where do they get money to buy lands in the us buy property in the uk buy things in canada they have their own estate in different places around the world where do they make the money I think EFCC should focus their energy more on investigating all these politicians and leave young Nigerians alone. Because once you buy common uh, um, Lesus 350, and they will start following you up and down, you know? But those major people who are rich, they are not investigating them. Is it because... Uh, I don't understand. I'd like to get your thoughts down in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think what Mr. George is telling us is true? you think what he's saying is is true and if it's true and what major do you think the nigeria government should take right now because yes how about wigwe is dead both others that he mentioned they are still alive i think if this is a working system then they should investigate every other person he mentioned and secondly if you're in the position of like of making money from this corrupt system will you take advantage of that because these people they just mentioned are the people who had the opportunity to steal from the corrupt government according to Bode george i'll see you guys on my next one my name is casey i am here on casey vlogs peace out <laughs>